Hello YouTube, this is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com, your number one source for access training videos. This is to introduce my new video seminar on Microsoft Access Loan Amortization. This seminar covers everything you need to know to calculate a complete schedule of loan payments using Microsoft Access. The rest of this video will give you a complete walkthrough of the entire database. Plus, if you click on the link in the description below, that will take you to my website where you can find out a lot more about this database and download a free copy of the database template that you can play with or use for tracking your own loans. That link, you can see it right there in the video window, is 599cd.com slash XYTAM. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or post them in the comments below. Welcome to the Loan Amortization Seminar brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. A few months ago, I released a real simple loan amortization database template on my website. Lots and lots of people downloaded that template and left suggestions. And many people left feedback saying they wanted to see a video of how I built the database. And of course, they made some suggestions for features to add. So this new and improved loan amortization database lets you calculate loan payments, generate a complete amortization schedule, flexible loan terms. This is an upgrade from the last database. You can specify monthly or weekly or biweekly or quarterly for your loan payments. The new database lets you specify multiple loans per client. There's a client table, a provider table, so you can track loans per provider or bank or lending agency or whatever it is. And I added a bunch of new reports. There's a main menu now where you have a list of clients. You can double click to open up a client's record. And of course, for the template, I only put first name and last name, but you can put all the fields you want in here, phone number, address, etc. To add a loan for a client, just click on the add new loan. Pick a provider. Let's go with XYZ Mortgages. A description if you want home loan, some notes if you want to put notes in, the loan amount, let's say 100000 an interest rate, how about 5%, a start date, let's say 1-1, one, one. pick a frequency, this is new, let's go with monthly, you can type in the number of payments if you want, or come over here and type in the number of years, how about a 30-year mortgage, click on the years button, it'll do the math for you, it's real simple, but it's a nice little feature, calculate the monthly payment, there it is. Then come down here and click on Create Payment Schedule. You can see all of the payments are automatically generated and added to the subform here. The due date, the beginning balance, the amount due, which is the same for each payment. The amount actually paid, which we'll get to in a second. There's regular and extra. The regular amount toward the actual monthly payment and then any extra they want to pay toward principal to pay the principal down. Then you have how much of that payment is principal and how much is interest and your ending balance. There's totals down on the bottom down here. Now you can see because of the new data, this is the amount that's due today because we started the loan two months ago. Zero payments have been loaded in. So the past due is 1610. Well, let's put a payment in. We can track the entire payment schedule over here, the payments that have been made on this loan. So I'll click on add a payment. What is the payment amount? Let's put in the default payment here, which is 536.82. What is the date of the payment? Let's say they made this on 1-2. Then I'll hit OK. You can see the amount paid is added here to the schedule. And you'll see over to the right here in the payment history, there's their actual payment that they made. And the past due amount up here is updated accordingly. Let's put a payment in for the second month. Add payment. Now this time they paid a little extra. Let's say they paid an even $600. And this was the 2-2 payment. Now you can see here the amount paid was 600. Regular amount, which is the amount toward this month's payment, was 536.82 and an extra $63 went to pay off their principal. That will adjust their ending balance for this period and adjust the rest of the payments accordingly. People sometimes do that to pay off their balances early. And of course, if you don't want to allow that, you can simply change this yourself. Just change this to 536.82 and then move the 
6318 down to the next line. Over here, you'll see in their payment history, there's the actual amount. So you can track what payments came in on what dates and for which amounts. If you want to print this loan, send a copy to the customer, for example, just click here. This gives you a nice formatted report where you can see all the information about the loan as a whole, plus the complete amortization schedule. And this loan goes for several pages. At the bottom here, you can see all the totals, and then, of course, the payment history. You can mark a loan active or inactive. An inactive loan won't show up in your reports. That's if you want to put something in, maybe to print out a, a quote for a customer, or perhaps a loan that's paid off that you no longer want to see. Back here on the client form, you can print all the loans for this client. Here's the report. It shows each loan by provider, the loan ID, the amount of the loan, start date, payment amount, and the past due amount. I'll add another loan for this client. There's a second loan for a motorcycle. And now when I go to print all loans, you can see the second loan shows up right here. ABC Loan Corp for his motorcycle. Likewise, on the providers menu, you can see each of your providers. Here's ABC Loan Corp. I've got two loans in here for them. You can print active loans by provider. And there you can see the same information, just reorganized so the provider can see all the loans per client. There's also an all active loans for all providers. This shows you everything in the system, so you can print it out for your own records. There's an accounts receivable option where you can show providers, clients, loans, and payments. Here's a sample accounts receivable report showing each provider, each client, and each loan the amount due, the payments made, of those payments what is less than 30 days old, less than 60 days old, less than 90 days old, or more than 90 days old. As you can see here, Joe Smith's not doing too good on that loan. If you don't want this much detail, you can simply turn off specific bands of the report. For example, let's say I don't want to see the loan amounts. There's the same data with just a breakdown by client. You can also get rid of the clients and just generate a provider report. And there you go. And finally, there's a current loan values report. This shows you the current value of the loan, essentially the ending balance plus whatever is due. So if the customer comes into your office right now and wants to pay off their loan, that would be their payoff amount. And of course, the database is perfectly flexible. Through the techniques that I teach in the videos, you can add whatever kinds of reporting that you want based around all of this data. In class, I use Microsoft Access 2010, but I've also tested this with every version back to 2003, and it works fine in 2013 as well. So whether you're using 2003 all the way up to 2013, the techniques in this video should work just fine for you. The sample database file for this class can be found at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. On this page, you'll find the actual database file, the ACCDB file. I'll put it also up there in 2003 format in an MDB file. If you are a paid customer and have purchased this seminar, you'll have access to the full database file. If not, there will also be an encrypted version up there that you can download, anyone can download for free, to load up and play with the database. You won't be able to make any design changes or see the code, but you'll be able to work with the database and see if you have any problems or questions with it. One bit of warning that I will give you, this is an advanced seminar. I move along pretty quickly. If you have no background with Access, you definitely want to start with my Access beginner lessons. Don't jump right into this seminar. I assume you know how to build tables and forms and reports and all that good stuff. There will be a good amount of VBA programming in this seminar. You may find it to your advantage to start with some of my expert classes, like my Access 301 or my Advanced 1 class, before taking this seminar. This seminar also is informal in nature. This is not one of my polished productions like my standard access classes, or even some of my other seminars. 
this seminar is pretty much just me sitting down, hitting record, and building the database. And I'm going to walk you through everything that I did, including all my mistakes, so you can see what I did while I was designing the database. This started out initially only being planned as a short 30 or 40 minute seminar, and it bloomed up into over five hours because I kept adding stuff. So you are forewarned. It's a little informal, and there's a lot of advanced material. I move along pretty quickly. But I'm pretty happy with the end result, and I think you will be too. Now, if you have any questions, post them in the student forums. You'll see the forums on my website, and if you're watching this online, you'll also see the forum for each class pop up right next to it. If you don't understand something, you can post it in the forums, but if you want more direct help from me, you can visit my tech help page. And, of course, if you have any questions about the seminar whatsoever, please feel free to email me. You'll find contact information on my website at accesslearningzone.com. Thanks for watching, and once again, to download your free copy of the database template, visit 599cd.com slash XYTAM. And, of course, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below.